that. So one time I was on a construction site and um, I met this black brother. I spoke about this before, innit? And I just thought this mentality is mad. So as you know already, us black people, for the most part, the majority of us grew up in working class poor areas and that. most of us are working class. Um, we pretty much all grow up in the ends if we're from London. Um, so I met a black man, older man, Jamaican, but born here like man. So um, yeah, born and raised London probably, more than likely. So anyway, he's one of them man there, he's got the entrepreneur type of mindset and that he don't just want to be average and that. So boom, he told me that he built a property in this place called Blackheath. Now Blackheath is on the border of, what's going on Jerry, Jerry Manning, what's going on fam? Blackheath is on the border of Lewisham and Greenwich. And Blackheath has like kind of like a village. Um, and he was basically saying that it's like a village that's within London. And he was kind of comparing it to Hampstead Heath. So if you know about Hampstead Heath, that's kind of near Kilburn, Northwest London, NW6, them kind of size there in it, yeah. Posh man kind of area. So he was kind of comparing this place, Blackheath, to Hampstead Heath. He said, obviously, it's not quite at that level, but it's up there and it? it's up market and that. Um, yeah, you ain't getting no broke man going and living around there anyway. So, um, yeah, he said, yeah, I bought this, I built this property on top of this land. So I bought land, I built this property and that, and he was showing me pictures of his property and that. Then he started showing me pictures of his local pub and that. And right then and then, when a black man showed me pictures of his local pub, I know he's on that side of the fence and that, which is cool. But anyway, then he said, yeah, all my neighbours and that, they're cool. You know, I like where I live, the surrounding area is nice, obviously. And best of all, no brothers. And I thought, what? That's a man saying no brothers. So basically, a man don't want to live around black people and that. I understand if it, it depends on what type of black people it is. Now, if there's stabbing and shootings and local drug dealers hanging around your estate, I get it. But my man didn't specify. And you know what? When a man makes a bold statement like that, I'm not going to sit here and uh, fill in the blanks. And I'm just going to take it as it is. Certain people, when they get money, and they become, you know, they elevate, they become middle class or upper class on paper. They forget where they come from. They forget their skin colour. They forget their surroundings. And there's certain people, they're from Edmonton and they're glad that they've left. Not because they want to raise their children in a safer environment. They feel like they're better than the ends, you know. So anyway, this old white couple um, that live on my road, they're like... Uh, pushing late 60s, maybe touching 70s. And um, they have a son who's just like 40 or something, isn't it? And um, he, um, he's like 40 or something. Now, everyone on my road, at my mum's yard, we've all lived there uh, from when they were uh, built. So it's a kind of, well, not a new building state now, but we're the first. So like, wherever you lot live, you lot probably are not the first occupiers. You probably get letters from people who lived in other um, lived there before you and that. At my mum's yard, we're the only people that have ever lived there and that. So on my estate, everyone bar one or two people have lived there from the beginning. We lived there 20 years. And I used to fix myself. Why didn't um, this old white couple's son ever live there? Because he's not that old. I thought he would be like, you know, young enough to have lived there and that. So one time, I, didn't, I don't even know his name or nothing, but you know one of them faces, you just say hello to, he don't live there, he comes and checks his mum and dad now and then, or I see him check his mum and dad now and then, and I just put my hand up and say, well, go on. So he used to talk to my little brother, because my little brother's into cars and that, and he's into cars. So obviously I started saying hello to him and that, and in one day, I must have just strike up a conversation with him, innit? And um, yeah, I, I started asking him, ah, oh, um, how comes I never see you live there? Like, I know you're not that much older than me, so I would have thought I would have saw you living there for even a few years and then you went about your business. And he said, nah, him and his sister, who's about the same age as well, like 39 or 40 years old, they were both out when they were 16 years old. Now, remember that, yeah, because that's going to kind of go into the main top talking point. And right now, I'm just talking about people that forget where they come from. Isn't it? So anyway, boom, he said that him and his sister were out on their own from when they were 16 and that. And he was like, yeah, you know what? I'm too good for Edmonton now, isn't it? Yeah. Like I live up in Newcastle, isn't it? So he's telling me about Newcastle, saying how nice and peaceful it is and stuff. Then he started going on and started dissing Edmonton, like, yeah, man, I'm too good for this area, and this is basically a shithole and that. 
And I think to myself, bear in mind, this man works at Asda, you know. So a man can talk like, oh, Edmonton's a shithole and that, but a man's working a shit job. Like, there's certain people's house I go to in Northampton, and I ask them, like, oh, what do you think of Northampton? Or oh, are you born and bred Northampton? They say, yeah, I'm from this shithole and that. And I'm looking around and that, and I'm like, how dare you diss the surrounding area, but your yard is a shithole itself, isn't it? Like, some people, they, they don't get it, fam. Like, this so contradictory. It's, so the surrounding area is a shithole, but your yard is better. Nah, fam, your yard is a shithole as well, innit? Why don't we try and clean up our own yard, our own perimeter, before we start dissing the surrounding area? Anyway, my man lives up in Newcastle, and I say, yeah, I get it. So many people won't want to raise their kids in Edmonton because obviously it can be a dangerous area at times. But it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad, man. It ain't that bad. Edmonton ain't a shithole, isn't it? Like, I would expect someone who comes from Hampstead Heath or Black Heath or someone who's from Northampton Shire, one of the villages outside outside of Northampton, but within the county, Northamptonshire, if they come to Edmonton and they'll see all these black people, all these monkeys and that, I'll expect them maybe to say it's a shithole, but not a man that was, was, was born in Edmonton and raised in Edmonton until the age of 16, and I don't know where he moved to next. I think he went to Essex or somewhere. In it. I wouldn't expect a man like that to call Edmonton a shithole. Because a man don't own his property and that. I know a man don't live in a nice, spotless, clean yard. The man works for Asda. But some people, they're deluded, fam. They think because they move to a new area, they're better than their original area. There's some people, they can pull the wall over people's eyes as well. Or at least try. So let's say, for example, if you don't know where Edmonton is, Edmonton's at the top of North London. Boom. Us, us Northern liners, even just London people in general, we don't travel, you know. We don't go to neighbouring areas, really. Only certain men do that because they're, they're trapping. You understand? But for the most part, we don't leave London. Like, we go to other little areas in London, but we don't really leave London unless we've got a reason to. So um, like you've got Edmonton, which is at the north, the, the top of North London. Then you've got one area called Harlow. That's like, I mean, depending on how fast you drive, in it, 15, 20 minute drive. Once you get onto the fast road and that, 15, 20 minute drive. A lot of us people from Edmonton don't know about Harlow. And you could get someone who's born and raised Edmonton and a black brother, let's say for example, he could buy a property in Harlow because although Edmonton's a worse area, you know London prices is mad right now, isn't it? Just go and check super in it. Yeah? You might live in an area you think this area is rough, but if you check the house prices and that, and they don't reflect the roughness of the area and that. There's all man living in Hackney. They're living in a council yard, but the next yard, the, the yard next door is all worth a mill. I'm not joking. The next yard that's next door, the two, three-story yard is worth a mill. And that. So London house prices is just mad. Go and check Zoop if you don't believe what I'm saying. Anyway, boom. You'll get someone from Edmonton, a black brother that's from Edmonton. He's, he's got a decent job. He decides to buy a property in Harlow. And... He will come back to the ends and that and say to the people them around him, like, you know, family and friends that he grew up with on his estate. Yeah, man, I moved to Harlow and that. It's a nice area. And, yeah, my neighbours are cool. I don't smell anyone uh, burning weed. I don't hear police sirens all the time. I don't even see the police. Yeah, everyone on my, my road, they drive a nice car and that. And a man will pull the wool over certain man's eyes, but they can't fool me, you know. See, because people in Edmonton, they're not going to do a background check. They're not going to research Harlow. They're just going to take a man's word for it, isn't it? Yeah? But really and truly, somewhere like Harlow, it's just another working class area outside of Edmonton, outside of London. Check back in 10 years, 15 years time. Somewhere like Harlow, that will be another Edmonton. That will be another end. You know? There will be stabbings and shootings. The people them that are from around those kind of areas like Harlow and Chipping Ongar and then kind of Essexy, Hertfordshire border type of areas, they say that places like Harlow is a shithole. But you'll get some black brother that, or black gal that will can only afford to buy a property there, shared ownership or whatever in it. Yeah, it's more affordable. They will buy a property in Harlow and come back to the ends with toffee nose and try and pretend that where they're from is a shithole when really they're just in another potential shithole. That's just, I don't know, 
30 something, 20 something miles up the road, but no one in the ends knows that, so they could kind of pull the wool over people's eyes and that. There's people from, from the ends, Tottenham, maybe even Hackney, that have moved to Romford, acting like Romford's so nice and posh and oh, it's not dangerous and that. Romford, certain parts of Romford's a shit hole, you know? You know the type of area, like, there's two places, Harold, H Harold Hill or Harold Wood. I think it's Harold Wood that is the shit area. They're both next to each other. One's the nice area, one's the shit area. And one of the areas, whichever one's the shit area, you know the type of areas there where you got them people that they, they go to pick up their youth in their dressing gown or they go to the local shop in their dressing gown. These are all do that up here, you know, in Northampton. You know. Where my flat is, 15 minutes away, which is still in Northampton, um, the road that my flat sits on is just like a normal residential road and there's a shop, just a little convenience, um, off license on the corner, a little corner shop, right round by Indian people. Anyway, them same people that's in that Romford area there, that Harold Wood or whatever it is in it, wherever the dead areas in Romford, or Romford's a big area and they've got little sub areas around there, they? Chadwell Heath and them places there, innit? I've got family in all three of them. Uh, well, Romford and Chadwell Heath and Collier and Law and that. Anyway, boom. I I will be at that shop now and then, innit? And that's obviously I was there a lot because obviously I was renovating the flat. And I will see these white girls walking down the road in their dressing gown with no trainers on, you know, walking down the road in socks, maybe even barefooted, you know. This is the kind of nonsense that goes you see around this area. I've even seen someone in the fucking, um, in the local shopping centre around the corner from my yard here uh, in their dressing gown during the day, 2 p.m. The madness. Even me, I could, I could, I could, I could try and pull the wool over certain people's eyes right now. I could go back to Edmonton and say, yeah, um, where I live, Northampton, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my neighbours, they're all cool and that. As long as they don't watch my YouTube channel, because obviously you will know that I mash up a couple of people around there. Um, all my neighbours are all cool and that. There's no police. I hardly ever see the police. And when I do, they're not chasing someone down the road and that. There's not clusters of gangs and that. Oh, it's lovely and that. That'll be a... I ain't want to swear. That'll be a rascal like life. Man. This area is dead. Yeah, it, it, don't, it, don't, it looks rough. But I could go back to the end and lie to people and say, yeah, where I live now is beautiful. Because no one's coming up here to verify my story. They're just going to believe what comes out of my mouth. There's a lot of people that do that. They move to a dead, mediocre area and they try to act like it's all lovely and that when they leave the end. Nothing worse than a fake person. I hate people that like, don't get twisted. Man for move out of their area. You know, life is about moving on and evolving and that. If you... Oh, personally, if you're born and raised in Tottenham and you've lived there for 50 years, that is not good. That is not a good sign. You know, a part of elevating in life is about literally even moving area. You could even move to the neighbouring area. But if you've lived in the same house, the same house for 50 years or in the same postcode for 50 years, but there's a problem there. Ain't it? I don't feel like you're the type of person who's making progressive steps and that. Because a part of moving on in life is literally about maybe moving and leaving your geographical area but that don't mean you forget about where you come from that don't mean you're supposed to go back to the ends and show off and act like you're you're living the high life and that. but still you shouldn't be living in the same area for 50 years you should be moving on just don't just don't diss the ends that you come from in it yeah, because that made you me everything that i know every all the life experiences good and bad has made me the man i am today man love going back to my area like i've been living up here for uh, for two years now and when I was first going back down and talking about on the live stream oh, I don't like this area I want to go back to Edmund and that some people probably think oh yeah that will just wear off after a couple months and that. no 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 man still have the same energy you know yeah? and it, I think it's even getting worse and that man all bought back some chicken wings earlier from so I bought back some chicken earlier um I bought I bought some chicken from the chicken and chip shop in Wood Green brought it back home last night my girls put it on uh, warmed it up in the oven and that and i'm all i'm tasting wood green you know i'm tasting the ends through the chicken i'm all thinking but i'd go back there now to get some more chicken bro literally man, i want to be close back to the ends and i don't have to live in a post called n9 i don't have to live in edmund i want to be close i love going back to my area 
even yesterday when I was there, come out in the morning, it's like 10 o'clock at night, um, 10 o'clock in the morning, put on my flip flops. I just went and spun the block. I got a little, I live on an estate. That's when I walked around the estate and that. Get me, man, so cut that Edmonton oxygen. Love where I come from. But a certain man, yeah, 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 just to take me through still. Why is it not highlighting a comment? Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, man, I love, I love going back. But certain man, they just, I don't know what's wrong with them, innit? Uh, you know, they move out of the area, they get a little bit of money, they, they buy a property in another area with a gal, with a gal. So, put it this way if you didn't, uh, you know, uh, go into partnership with a gal, you'll still be at your mum's. See, there's a certain man right now, the certain man right now, they don't live in the ends no more, and they live with a um, and they moved out of the ends only because they got a girl, only because they're going on halves with a mortgage with a gal, or they got use with a gal. The same man, if they didn't go hard with a gal or they didn't knock up and breed up a gal, they will still be at their mom's yard on the ends. But a certain man, they, they forget, they forget themselves. They forget that it's because they're with a gal and that. That's the reason why they, they're able to move out. Other, other men, they don't like the ends and that because you know what? Certain man, Obviously, if you grow up in a place like Edmonton or Tottenham, if you weren't that guy, and even if you are that, even if you were that guy, you're still gonna have to prove that you're that guy. But especially if you weren't that guy and you grew up in Tottenham or Edmonton, and you know you didn't know a lot of people and that, man, you probably was a victim. Man, no man, man, on their own estate that they live a few years and that got their jaw broken by just a couple of youths on their estate that they're not certified with. They don't even know them. They don't even know your face. Certain man, the reason why certain man don't like where they come from, Tottenham, Catford, Woodgreen, wherever in it, because they used to get bullied. They weren't that guy. Trust me, if you was that guy in your area, you'd love coming back to the ends, you know? Trust me. The only thing is now, it's a bit different still, because when I go back now, I don't know. Like, when I used to walk around my area, I used to know everyone. There weren't no one I didn't know. They weren't no one I didn't know, but now there's all these little young 70, 80, 90, 20 year olds that I don't know none of them. They probably know my name, but they don't know my face. But um, yeah, man, there's nothing wrong with growing up on the ends, man. Trust me, blood. Growing up on a council estate, growing up in the ends, are the best experience you ever have. Chat to them people that um grew up in the suburbs and that. They don't know about playing runouts. I had to explain to my girl, she grew up in the suburbs. Yeah, in a different country, and she don't know about runouts and them them team there. Man, ain't nothing wrong with growing up in the ends, man. Obviously, I get it. As parents, and that you don't want to raise your children in an environment that's could be potentially dangerous where they get stabbed and that. But you know, if no one, if no one ever got stabbed or shot, and it was just a case of man having to uh, fight back on a fist team, and no one ever got stabbed, I wouldn't mind my youth growing up in Edmond. I wouldn't care. Cause you know what? I want my son to be street smart and that. I don't want him to be a road man. No, that, there's a difference between being street smart and a road man. If you want your son to be a road man, you're an idiot. If you want your son to be a gangster or be in a gang, you're an idiot. You've never been in beef. Because if you've been in beef, you'll know it's, it, it's, not, it's not fun at times. It can be dangerous. Plus, must, um, not, not to mention the sentences and that. 